Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the Lasso Fill tool, which is one of my favorite tools in Clip Studio Paint, and it's not in Photoshop. It's pretty cool. You'll find it here under Figure, and you'll see there's all these different line tools. It's there. I've moved it over to my Fill tools, so it's there. I made a copy of it. If you want to move it as well, you just drag it and drop it. So I'm going to take this here, and I'm going to drag it onto there. And then it goes in there and it makes its own tab, right? But if you don't want it in its own tab, you can drag it there. And now it's under the fill tools. So that's mine there. The lasso fill tool is not a selection tool. I think some people get confused by that. It's not really a lasso tool. Like it doesn't make a selection. It just fills within the area that you trace. So if I haven't selected anything, I put a multiply layer here. It's going to use this color. If I choose that tool, it's just going to fill what I've done there. That's at 20%. You can change the percentage. So you can do 100% or you can do percentages. And as you, you can build up detail for rendering if you want. And since it's not a selection tool, the cool thing is you can grab an area. And then if you're on a layer, say I wanted to do some rendering in there. If I grab the lasso fill tool and then I change that to a percentage, or it's, let's say 30%, I'm on the multiply layer. I could go in here and do some rendering if I want to. I mean, this doesn't look great, but you can do cut coloring for, the, for those of you that like to do cut coloring. I'm showing the selection so that you know that I have a selection. Normally I would hide it like that. If you're someone that's into cut color, so highlighting. You could build up detail real quick that way. And it won't go outside of the selection. It's not a selection tool. It's a fill tool. So if I go like this, it doesn't go outside of the selection. Sometimes it's useful if you have flats that are not perfect. So let's say that uh, the flatter made a little error there. And they had like a, a green there or something like that. So, I mean, you know, that's not really a good example because you could just grab that and fill it. But let's say, let's say I want to get rid of that. If I make a selection of that, that stuff, I can grab that last little fill tool and just put it at 100% and fill it. It will only fill inside the selection. So that's a quick uh, introduction to the lasso fill tool for you. Those of you switching from Photoshop to Clip Studio Paint, you might find that very useful.